Hi, it's Julie of On the Dot Creations, and when I decided to post about Craft Gawker today, I thought I would capture a little screencast to go along with the post to help you see what Craft Gawker is all about and how I use Craft Gawker to help me with my blog. I've only started using Craft Gawker recently, so I'm sure there are several of you that have used it more extensively, but I thought I would just show you how I've used it just the past few days and hopefully give you an idea of how the site looks and how to navigate it. This is not a screencast about how to submit to Craft Gawker, although that's a great idea for a future screencast, but this one is just about how I use it and just to let you get familiar with the setup and the format of the site. First of all, I'm not signed in or logged in or anything, but I'm just going to come here to the search bar and I'm going to type in polka dot. I'm going to search in all categories and I'll press the magnifying glass button there. Now the page has loaded and I'll scroll down here a little bit so that you can see we have fairly good size thumbnails of these different photos and again these are photos that people have submitted. Pretty much everyone at this point is a blogger that has submitted these. In times past people were able to upload images directly from Etsy or Artfire or other handmade shops but Craft Gawker has changed their stipulations about that and now pretty much everyone is bringing their images in from blogs so that works out great for me now it gives me some opportunity to see some new polka dots that maybe I haven't spotted before and as you know I like to feature polka dots on my blog and so sometimes this just gives me some fodder for my blog and I've spotted a couple that draw my eye first of all this one of course is really cute and I'll probably investigate that one a little bit more closely but with Easter coming up I noticed this here um, polka dot Easter egg finials and that's really really cute for Easter so I'm going to click on that and see where that takes me so I have arrived here at the Stay at Home Artist blog by Casey and I noticed that it takes me directly to this post, not to her home page, but to the post that those polka dotted finials are on. And this is the post all about that. And the nice thing about this is that she's not only showing the photos, but she's showing how she created them. So this is more like a tutorial. She's showing what objects she needed for the project. And she's given her instructions and photographed the steps along the way. So now this gives me an idea to post on my blog and I can link right back to this site and I probably would have never seen this site had I not gone on Craft Gawker and browsed around a little bit for polka dots. So that's how I use Craft Gawker. At this point I'm just using it to find polka dotted items and things that I can feature and a lot of things that are handmade and crafty of course draw my eye and hopefully draw your eye as well. So that's a little bit of how I use the site and hopefully you'll get used to the site as well soon and can be looking around there. It's lots of fun to browse through. So thanks for watching and I hope this helps you get started with Craft Gawker.